Hello guys, my name is Sam from Live Production Tips and Tools and welcome to my OBS tutorials. Just to let you know that this video is part of my OBS training series. And if you just started watching right now, I encourage you to go back and start from part one and that will help you to easily understand every single step on how to get started and set up your OBS the right way for live streaming. But you don't have to if you feel comfortable and you just came to learn specifically the information that I'll be sharing in this video. So go ahead and enjoy the video. Okay, so let's open OBS. All right. Um, so as you can see, um, this is uh, kind of blank. There's always a scene um, that's like by default, there's a scene that stays there. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to rename it. So we are going to create three scenes. Okay. So the first scene is going to be uh, pre-show. Okay. And then the second one, we are going to call it um, show. And the third one, we are going to call it uh, after show. All right. So basically you can create as many as you want, but for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna create three uh, simple scenes uh, for you guys to understand exactly uh, how to get started with scenes. So now for every scene that we created, we are going to create sources. Okay. So think it like, um, let's say if in a church, let's say this is, if this was a church or a concert, okay. Um, let's say something they're going to kind of have a display on your live stream before uh, the church service starts or uh, the event start. Okay. So let's go add. I'm going to go here and add um, a media source. Okay, so media source, I'm going to call it music. This is the music that we want, you know, to be playing in background uh, before the show will start. So say click OK. And we are going to uh, check loop because we want the music to keep looping and restart playback when source becomes active okay so we keep this checked uh we can leave this one like uh, like this and for show nothing when playback ends yeah we keep it like this the only thing i checked here is loop and the rest we keep it uh, on default okay so we're going to browse now i'm going to look for my music which is here on desktop and this is my music okay and then click ok so let's go and add an image so um, as a second source so we are going to go here and click image and let's call it pre-show image click ok and let's go browse here and I have this welcome image open okay click okay so as you can see this is an image that I prepared before uh, before I record this tutorial and it's already sized to to 1080p okay so this is my image and my music okay so this is our pre-show is ready is set okay so now let's click to show okay so for show we're going to add our camera okay so let's go here and go to add the video capture device okay so, so this is basically i have my uh, camera my lumix g7 oh actually it's my lumix G, uh, gh5 connected to my computer right now so we are going to look for the camera that's connected so video let's call it uh, main camera 
So this is during the show or during the service, everything's happening and this is your main camera, okay? So let's click okay. And as you can see, I have uh, options to bring in uh, different inputs. So I'm gonna choose the Lumix webcam software. That's what I'm using and here we are. And this is me talking to you guys and I'm gonna click okay. All right so now i'm going to resize it just to make sure it fits a little bit okay and there we go so i can leave it like this i'm okay with it so now this is my camera and i am going to bring in my audio okay because most of the time if your audio is not embedded in the camera you need to bring the, the audio in as well. So I'm going to look for audio input capture. And let me call it just audio. Oh, USB. This is my USB mic. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to look for line 12 M audio producer. This is the mic that I'm using. It's a USB microphone actually i think you can see in the frame say click ok okay so now as you can see i have my audio and my camera ready for the the second scene now let's go to the third scene the third scene i am going to actually add the same music that i used before so this is after okay so let's go to add media source and say after show music. Okay. Let's say okay. And hit loop and I'm going to look for the music. It's right there. I'm gonna use the same music. You don't have to use the same music, okay? But I'm just for the purpose of this uh, video I'm just gonna use the same music boom hit ok and I'm going to bring in another image okay after show image click ok and let's look for the image there we go and click ok it's actually it's kind of too big so i'm going to resize it make sure it fits the screen so because it's uh, yep this is good with me okay so this is our pre-show okay so now let me record this just for fun Okay, we're not streaming we're not live streaming we're gonna do the live streaming in my next video start recording okay so now we are going to start our show so now you understand exactly what scenes do and what sources do so basically you have a scene and the scene is made of different sources audio graphics so let's go here let's start our pre-show so the show starts okay now everything is in preview now okay so people let's say if we were streaming the screen is blank there's nothing right now okay but as soon as i hit cut okay we can choose see so as soon as i hit cut now it's going to program okay so now what's playing is the image is showing and our music is playing right now okay so this is your pre-show you know the music is playing as you can see the audio is playing here okay on your audio mixer you know so the you know the show is going you know and um let's say it's time to start the show okay so this is before the show okay music is playing and there's an image saying hey welcome it will be live in a moment okay now when it's time to go live 
what you have to do is you're going to select your second scene which is show okay and whenever you're ready now it's in preview okay so whenever you're ready you just hit cut you can even do fade okay if you do fade it's just gonna do a, s a smooth transition okay so as soon as i do fade boom okay so now i'm live okay so if this was your pastor preaching or your choir or a speaker or anybody uh, on the camera is going to appear here and as you can see the music is gone the image is gone and now is my audio the usb audio that is actually active on the audio mixer so basically this is what's live right now okay me talking and um my image okay so if you had two cameras or three cameras we could do multiple scenes let's say if you have another angle we could have it maybe somewhere here under the show and then we could switch between the other angle okay um so now let's say you know everything happens and the show is kind of done or the service um if it's in the church now we're gonna take our after show okay one thing i forgot okay for the after show we have the music but i'm going to add one more thing okay uh, i'm going to add a text so let's go here and add text okay let's call it after show text okay and you can here once you click okay you can choose any font that you want so Let's say select font, uh, let's say Antonio, anything that looks good to you. And let's type, thanks, thanks for watching. Okay, this is just an example. You can say anything you want. Okay, so now let's resize it, put it in the mirror like this i can go back i can still go back and kind of you know tweak it a little bit okay looks good to me okay thanks for watching something like this okay so now if uh now it's in preview so now if i wanted to go live what i have to do is since it's in preview i could just do cut or fade so this is after the show okay so guys, thank you so much for watching, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what you be saying and the show is done. You know what you're going to do? You're just going to do cut, fade, boom. And here we go. Thanks for watching. And this is our after show. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hate it, please put it down in the comments and let me know so I know how to improve myself. Thanks again and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.